All right, the very last piece of this of this thingy is word problems. This is part E, not part D. I know my alphabet. Okay. Um, crafts. So we have here the polynomial x cubed plus 7x squared minus 38x minus 240 expresses, expresses the volume in cubic inches of the shadow box. Okay. If you look at the shadow box, our, the width is given. So it tells us the width. The width is x plus five. Like any other word problem, you want to make sure you identify any variables you need, any given information. So we know our width is x plus five. We know what our volume is. So we know the volume. We know the equation for volume of a rectangular prism is length times width times height. It wants to know what are the dimensions of the box. So if I if I have my width and my volume, what operation can I use to find my length and my width, my length and my height? I have multiplying, so the opposite of multiplying is division, right? So I'm gonna use division. At this point, I have the choice. If I'm dividing x cubed plus seven x squared minus 38x minus 240 divided by x plus five, I have the choice to do long division or synthetic division. The reason why is because this is a linear divisor. So I, when possible, I choose synthetic. If you're a long division person, by all means, use long division. x plus five means that my x equals negative five. So in my house goes negative five. My coefficients are one, seven, negative 38, and negative 240. And then I begin, bring down my one. Negative five times one is negative five. Seven minus five is two. Negative five times two is negative 10. Negative 38 plus negative, negative 38 plus negative 10 is negative 48. Five times negative 48 is positive 240. And that gives me zero. So I know that my, my quotient is one X squared plus two X minus 48. So I'm gonna factor that to find my length and my width. So we have X squared plus two X minus 48. So I'm asking myself what multiplies to give me negative 48, but adds to give me two. What multiplies to give me 48, but adds to give me two? A positive eight and a negative six, agreed? So the hint it says is my length is greater than my height. So that means my length has to equal X plus eight and my height has to equal X minus six. So my full volume equals length times width times height. So X plus eight times X plus five times x minus six, length times width times height. Okay, part B, it says, if the width of the box is 15 inches, what are the other two dimensions? So remember our width equaled x plus five. If I now know what it's equal to, I can solve for x, right? So what does x have to be? So x equals 10. So I now know that x equals 10, so I can find, I can use my length. Length equal x plus eight. If I plug in 10, 10 plus eight equals 18 inches. Height equal x minus six. I plug in 10, 10 minus six equals four. So my box is a 18 by 15 by four box. I'm just gonna put in parentheses and write inches. All right, so you're gonna do what we just did for part A, not for part B. 
on example two. Okay, so if you look here, it's another volume. So it gives you your volume. And we know volume again is length times width times height. It gives us our height. So to find the other dimensions, we have to use division. So hopefully you chose to use synthetic. So negative one, and we have one, six, 11, six. We're gonna plug the, bring down our leading coefficient. Negative one times one is negative one. Six minus one is five. Negative one times five is negative five. 11 minus five is six. Negative one times six is negative six. And we end up with zero. So our quotient is one X squared plus five X plus six. So to find our length and our height, we have to factor that. So we have X squared plus five X plus six. So it multiplies to give me six, but adds to give me five. Two and three, X plus two times X plus three are my height and my length. So we know the volume equals our length, which is X plus three times our width, which is X plus one times our height, which is X plus two. So there are dimensions of the box. How do you feel? All right, unit eight is done, son. <laughs>